everybody. Welcome back to the Planet Strays of Comic Books channel. My name's Matt, and today we're going to review Nightclub number one. But before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So, with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, we got the cover here for Nightclub number one. It is an image comic and is by Mark Miller and Juanan Ramirez. And we start off with this main character named Danny and his two friends, and they're trying to get internet famous. They have decided, well, actually, it's mainly just Danny, but he thinks he's going to get famous on YouTube if he does some parkour on a roof with a bicycle. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't go the way he plans, and he accidentally falls off the roof, and he ends up breaking his back and his neck in a couple places. And at the hospital, it's looking pretty grim for him. He's definitely unconscious on top of all the other wounds. And they don't say he's necessarily in critical condition, but he's definitely not doing good. Then later that night, as the nurse is trying to make Danny comfortable, a man comes into his room that hides in the shadows. And it turns out that this man is a vampire, and he bites Danny, and he kidnaps him, and he takes him back to his lair. And that's where I'm going to stop it at. I don't want to spoil anything else. So I'm a pretty big Mark Miller fan, and he usually writes kind of violent and messed up comics that are very action heavy. And I said that this series isn't quite there yet, as far as the violence and the action, but it's definitely moving that direction. I thought Miller's writing this was pretty good. One thing I like about it is that it's super fast paced. There's no stringing out the origin of this kid and how he became a vampire, because you know they're vampires from the cover. So he just puts you right in there from the very beginning. You get the setup of the kids doing stupid stunts on a roof, then he gets hurt, then he gets bit, then he learns his powers and stuff. So this is basically the first act of like a Spider-Man movie or something. And I like how in this world, you don't necessarily know if the vampires are bad, but they do have superhuman powers, so they could be superheroes if they want it. The art by Ramirez is amazing. When he gets to do his big splash pages, they all look great. This is pretty much a flawless book to me as far as the art goes. So overall, I enjoyed this one. It is definitely a first issue to a series, meaning that it's all set up and stuff. But there were a lot of fun elements, and I'm interested to see where it's going to go. Is this going to have more of a Lost Boys feel, or is it going to end up being a superhero? So as you can see, I obviously want to read issue two. So I'm going to give this book a 4.5 out of 5. It was a good time all around. And not only that, it is only $1.99, which is unheard of for a color comic in 2022. So even if you're not sure if this is your jam or not, it's only $1.99. So if you do check it out, it doesn't really hurt your pocketbook that bad. So if you saw anything you like, definitely go pick it up at your local comic book store. And we will see y'all in the next one.